We just saw John Wick, and on this show I take my friends, we go see a movie, we come out and review it in the car, and then we have a discussion. The review part is spoiler-free, so if you're on the fence and trying to decide if you want to see this movie or not, watch the first part. If you've already seen it or don't care to and just want to know everything we thought, watch the whole thing, because uh, we do get into spoilers after that break. Um, John Wick is another action movie with Keanu Reeves in it. Um, I will say that it is quite a bit better than the last movie I saw him in, which was 47 Ronin. That was along the same kind of style. Um, it's still very much trying to be uh, the standout action scene from the first Matrix. They're just trying to make a whole movie out of that. Um, it has the most basic, stupid revenge plot of any movie ever. Um, it is, it's literally <laughs> like, and I'm not spoiling anything here. They <laughs> literally, <laughs> they steal his car and kill his dog. And that sets him off on a killing rampage because apparently he was a killing machine and they didn't realize that they like messed with the wrong guy. Um, the first act is pretty solid. Um, Keanu Reeves' acting is terrible, uh, but the action is good and kind of figuring out like who he is and, and you know uncovering that side of the mystery, getting to know who the other characters are, that's all interesting. Um, and then it gets to a point where it's just the only thing that happens is action scenes and it's just a foregone conclusion as to how is this going to, how is he going to get through to the end of this? You know, uh, how many more scenes do we have before this character dies? How many more scenes do we have before this character dies? Um, you know, what creative thing are they going to, you know, try and pull off with, with the action sequences? And Keanu Reeves does great stunt work. He always has. But this felt like it had an extra 40 minutes that I didn't need. Um, and it actually felt like, two movies worth of plot shoved together. Um, it felt like the movie and they decided to just put the sequel in there at the end too. The, the third act is like a whole separate part of things. Um, even though, I mean, they do set it up ahead of time, but it's just, it's pretty mindless. Having said all of that, if you want a mindless action movie that will make you chuckle at creative kill shots and um, silly meat-headed stuff like you know, take your fist and imagine it's the size of the Incredible Hulk and make it out of ham, and that's how ham fisted the actionist in this. <laughs> then you'll love John Wick. <laughs> that's my review. What did you guys think? <laughs> um, yeah, I think the best thing I can say is that the, I felt like the action scenes and choreography was probably the best part of the movie. Uh, the, the writing was pretty poor. The acting was, outside of Keanu, was okay. Yeah. Um, most other people in it, there was pretty solid performances, but it was pretty weak on his part. But like Dale said, he's he excels in the action sequences, so that, that was all pretty solid from him. Um, yeah, just really, really basic, dumb, white bro, <laughs> uh, you know, immortal... Shooter, unstoppable killing, unstoppable machine. killing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's that's kind of what you're getting out of it. So, I mean, yeah, sometimes you're in the mood for that kind of movie. Sometimes you're not. So, I I didn't mention I did really like the soundtrack. I, I enjoyed it. That's some good music. Was, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I yeah. I liked that Marilyn Manson song the first time too. they used it. Mm -hmm. But when they used it the second time, I was like, no, do something new. Yeah. 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 Oh, why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah for sure. You had this moment and you lost it. Yeah. Huh. Um, I wanted to like it. <laughs> <laughs> and to me, it started off kind of strong, and as as it was beginning to unfold, you were like, "Oh, cool!" And you really wanted to see where it was gonna go, and it went nowhere. It's just literally very, very basic story-wise. The action, you've seen it before. It's just video game type stuff. Nothing interesting about the directing. Nothing interesting about just the visual choices, the shots. Nothing was. Uh, Nothing was stand out at all except for <laughs> when's it gonna end? Because <laughs> <laughs> or are we, are we past the, the next level? Because it felt like I wanted to play this instead of watch it. Like <laughs> if I could control yeah. him and like that would be cool as a video game, but as a film, it should have been a short film. It should have been a twenty-minute film. 
Like, yeah, there's there was nothing more to tell. Well, it was a bit of a twist, kind of, but I don't know. <sighs> I, uh, I, again, I wanted to like it, but it's not that great. I yeah, I didn't care about anybody enough to know what was going to happen. Well, and be no. Here's the thing, like, it doesn't matter. Like, it's a Keanu Reeves movie, but you could easily replace him and anyone with uh, any actor, really. Oh, yeah. As long as they can do some of the stunt work. Yeah. To make it look somewhat realish. But, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things where any one of those characters could have been replaced by anyone else. Well, and like, it's how many movies... I mean, I can name, like, three or four off the top of my head that I've seen just this year uh -huh. that are... They accidentally screwed with the wrong guy, r the like retired hitman guy. Yeah, that's a oh, that's such an old thing. Now. That trope is so yep. broken. It's yeah. so dead, and the way it was pulled. I mean, they were, and they're always in retirement. Yeah. And they're always forced to come back out. Yeah, and, you you're know, dragging me back you know, in. Uh, yep. So anyway, that's John Wick. Um, if you still want to go <clears> see this movie and you think it's possible that I could spoil anything about this plot. <laughs> Please stop watching, but yeah, uh, uh, whatever. This is the spoiler section. Um, so the strongest part of the movie was the dog. When, when you had the the dog, the dog was really cool. <laughs> it's a good dog. The dog was awesome. Yeah. Uh, the For dynamic between Alfie Allen getting in over his head. Like mm -hmm. I thought he was actually the best character. In the movie, who, who was he? Uh, the the kid, the the Russian kid. Oh right, right, yeah, yeah. Yusuf, yeah, I think he, his name was. Yeah, in the movie. as he realizes what, how deep the shit. He's like in. yeah, like the him his arc from you know I'm invincible, I'm unstoppable, yeah. I can do whatever I want to, to be the prey. Oh, yeah, um, <laughs> this guy's not a joke. Yeah, and, and then once they killed him. And it it did it did feel like slightly anticlimactic that they just capped him like that. Yeah, but which I kind of loved. I, I did too. Right. <laughs> and I really wish that would have like, like game over. If that would have been like everybody has like this gentleman's agreement that that's the end of it, and mm -hmm. and that's how it how it like finishes up. Mm -hmm. I would have liked the movie quite a bit more. Uh -huh. But instead, they were like, "No, we've got to have a climactic battle sequence," which made no sense. Like it, it almost looked like one of those deals where they they rewrote it a few times, and then they they like they wrote five, so, th and they picked the I one that they moved some sequences around. Yeah, it just felt kind of disjointed. We, we got to keep the doc sequence, guys. What can we do? The way, yeah, they, exactly. The way they pulled it t together was, it basically, I think it would the the way they tried to tell it was that it would have ended. If Willem Dafoe hadn't like cheated on the contract, if he hadn't been uh -huh. like helping yeah. John Wick out the whole time, I think that that's what they were trying to imply was that it would have been all good, you know, the deal would have been fine, mm -hmm. and it would have ended with the son if Willem Dafoe hadn't like been like the guardian angel. Right. And when they found that out, it was like all bets are off. They killed Willem Dafoe. Yeah. And called John Wick and said we're killing the foe. Yeah. And he turned around and came back and killed everyone else. Yeah. Which almost seemed like a bonus level. <laughs> that was the DLC. <laughs> Wasn't it? Yeah. It well to me it seemed like the cheesy action ending. It seemed like Yeah. The, yeah, the fight in the rain. Oh. Yeah, like a, oh, the why well, in the funeral <laughs> don't forget the funeral in the rain. Yeah, no, like but a, we did have a very original shot where the camera was above and you saw black umbrellas at the funeral and it kinda <laughs> like I would have loved if he caps yeah. Alfie, Alfie Allen and like goes back and like talks to that guy in the lobby of the Continental again. Yeah. Or like Ian McShane's like you know you're welcome back anytime and he walked uh -huh. out the door. Yeah. See they could have played a lot more with the characters behind that. That's one thing I did like was the you know there which was kind of strange this hotel where people were all like doing yeah. nefarious but, things but, but they I, all kind of knew each other yeah. but they had like a truce. I, yeah, I really I really liked like the surface level stuff we got about this weird criminal underground thing. Yeah. Like they're using these coins as this weird That was kind of interesting but also like some yeah. of them had an honor, you know. 
you know, that yeah. towards the end they, they kind of enforced that. Like the hotel that is supposed to be this neutral ground, mm -hmm. and, and so I thought all that was stuff. pretty interesting. That stuff was cool. That they was just kind of like really cool touched on it, but didn't really go into it. I thought yeah. that was kind of a more interesting than the the plot. Yeah, I think it would have been interesting to live in that a little bit more. Yeah, they had all these great ideas, and then like every rule they set, they broke. Right. Well, yeah. It's like you know, no, the hotel's neutral ground, except except it's not unless you pay a contract. Yeah. Um. You know, and she got her comeuppance from Ian McShane. Yeah, that was like a hardcore execution. But that was also a weird scene where, Quad like, headshot. she, like, was right behind Keanu Reeves mm -hmm. when he went into Willem Dafoe's house. Yeah, yeah. And she, then she got the call from Ian McShane, and, she and then she left. just went off and did that. Yeah, it's like didn't make a whole what? lot of sense. Yeah, like, well, why are you leaving? Well, now? lots of it didn't make much sense. Like the thing where they finally get. The, the guy, Keanu Reeves' character guy, and, and it, they do that thing where they, well, I guess now he's the bad guy, the, the older, the father guy, and of course he just walks away and does so the they Dr. Evil. To... I'll just assume it all went according to plan. Yeah, yeah. and then we try to suffocate him for some reason. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, like, yeah. That was like the most bizarre oh, way. man, It just yeah. so happens the other guy was in another building that had a perfect shot to kill. Oh, I yeah. forgot how I didn't even know they were that That's just the worst. Like, that's been so overdone and played out to just uh, leave the action hero behind. Yes. There's... There's better ways to deal with that. Yeah. They there was a there's a scene in the trailer that I think is probably the best action moment in the movie. Is what? And it's one that they did a lot of times, but I think it was the best filmed in that particular shot, uh -huh. which is he's fighting a bunch of guys at once. He's having a gun battle with a bunch of guys at once mm -hmm. while grappling with somebody else. Right. So they have that yeah, they shot that where he's like twisting his legs around somebody and he like comes up off the floor and like headshot some guy comes back around headshots another guy uh -huh. and like they kept repeating that kind of style where yeah like somebody would come around a corner and he wouldn't just instantly headshot them like he just picked them up and start beating on them yeah and like headshot 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 yeah and then Headshot. But they even did that way back in when they broke into his house. They did that kind of thing. I oh, think yeah. They probably saw that like 25 yeah, times. They used the hell out of that. Well, because he had practiced the choreography for it, so <laughs> don't let that go to waste, right? Just put that in a few different settings. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. The bathhouse and on the dock. In fact, maybe they just shot it once on green screen and then just <laughs> composited them in all these... <laughs> it did look a lot better than that. I mean, yeah. it wasn't... It, I, I was... I was cool with the effects. I was cool with the... the yeah, they were fine, just bland. In it terms just, of the the content of it was kind of, there was no... Yeah, it needed like... Nothing you haven't seen before. It needed like another 20 pages worth of story, you know? Yeah. Or it just needed to be done. Which, again, at the very beginning, it almost seemed like it was going to go that direction, you know? They had a kind of a cool... I thought it was going to almost go kind of a moody vibe throughout the thing. Like, Max Payne is what it reminded me of a little bit. Yeah. Once he started taking the painkillers, I thought it was going to turn into a Max Payne rampage that would turn into a story thing at the end, and but, eh, it didn't really... No. Just walks off into the sunset with his new dog. Yeah. Which is going to be John Wick 2. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, he never did get his car back. That's a shame. It was a nice car. They gave him another car. That was pretty nice. Yeah. Maybe that's what will happen in the second one. It's because that's stolen? Because you got it, you got it <laughs> modded? <laughs> and then it goes... Yeah, because he went to, from like an old Mustang to a slightly newer... Look like a Challenger or something. Well, it looked like a, like a Chevy SS or something. All right. And then then he got like the brand new Mustang. Yeah, you're right. He had like an SS. Then he had like in the a Super Sport or something. Uh, yeah, that's what he got from John Leguizamo. Right. Which I thought he would be in it a little bit more. He was. Just I would have hoped for it. He was. No. He was pretty good in it. No, not right. him. And yeah, and he's. I love John Leguizamo, but he's. He tends to be like, a bad sign. Like when he shows right. up in your movie, it's all like right. ooh. <laughs> Uh, this isn't going to go well. <laughs> All right. Oh. Well, that's our review. Uh, hope you enjoyed the way we do these. Please like the video, subscribe. Check out the way we uh, do our video reviews and written reviews over at DaleMaxfield.com. Thanks for watching.